from the original lineup, out of the four of us, there's only two right now. We all moved to Mexico City, and then two of them decided to move back. If I'm in Tijuana and I'm playing a, a solo show, or, or I, I would invite the other guys. Like, it's like a one big band that's not together all the time. The biggest uh, influence that, that living in the border has had on me and, and most musicians from Tijuana that I know is just the that you can go to San Diego to see bands live. Nowadays, most like semi-big or big bands go to Mexico City or go to other cities in Mexico. 10 years ago or 15 years ago, they, they didn't. That's the biggest uh, like thing about living on the border, like musically, that, that, that exposure. We had more of, a, of an American influence that went into our songs a lot. We stopped playing for about two years and I think 100% of that was because of money. In Mexico, I, I think uh, most people uh, don't like to pay too much for a concert, especially if it's a, a local band or a small band. We are very lucky that the fans are, are still there. You know, but not enough to <laughs> make a living, but uh, mm -hmm. enough for us to still enjoy it a lot. I think it's harder for women and everything. Rock music is is, is one of them. Uh, definitely there's a lot more emphasis on how women uh, look instead of how they play or, or things like that. It's a shame, uh, but that's like, I think the, the world is like that. Like, not, like I said, not just in rock music. Their music is just <laughs> as good as men's or uh, for me now it's better. I mean, I, most of the artists I listen to right now are our women's favorite song. If I had to choose one uh, out of all of them, I would choose one called Me Enseñaste Mal. And uh, You Taught Me Wrong, it's a translation. It was like the first song that, that like put us on the map. It talks about Tijuana and, and it talks about, uh, I don't know, things that happened when I was younger. Little to do with politics and especially like uh, safety or insecurity here in, in Tijuana. 15 10 years ago it was it was pretty bad so that, that actually also helped us to decide to move somewhere else like nothing happened to us or to me but you always heard about things or you know, somebody saw a shooting or yeah it was tough Michoacan uh, like you said I think is is one of the worst right now if we get an offer to play cities like that we we definitely like discuss it and if somebody doesn't want to do it we do it um, and, and that's that's a shame also because it's like you have to put your life on hold and things like that like concerts or, or something uh, because of something that's totally external to you but also the police like uh, checkpoints um, many checkpoints have like a uh, bad rep um, they might want to like get some money off of you so we've heard of like people that it's something there. The police is extremely corrupt. It's it's bad, and the whole government. Uh, there are also narco checkpoints in, in some areas. We try to stay away from areas that that in that moment <laughs> are are dangerous. When you're not scared and you and you say, well, um, I'm gonna go anyways. Uh, we've done that too, and and it's it's really nice. It's nice to to be able to play a show for kids that live with that every day. You just have to go like for one weekend and you're scared, but they live with that every day. So it's it's nice for them to be able to go out um, at night and, and listen to music and, and have a good time and forget about problems for two hours. I think religion is, is really big in Mexico. Like some people will believe that they, they are in a bad situation because God wants them to be in a bad situation instead of thinking that it's because the government is taking all for them. The boss now is is the are the businessmen that just are interested in making a profit, making money. Um, we have never had a situation like, like uh, somebody prevented us from playing because of politics or anything, but politics does affect our music a lot um, because especially when you have such a bad government and so many bad things happen and 
it has to affect you. I, I know a lot of people that don't want to get into that in their songs and, and, and maybe it's not my story, maybe it's somebody else's, but but uh, in, within the stories there's some elements that uh, maybe make a reference to uh, to a corrupt government. It's not really like we, we want, we have an agenda and we have like, uh, we support somebody. It's just like how things affect regular people or regular lives.